Much among the dozens of statements read in court today was that of the wife of the Freeman School Superintendent Randy Russell. And this is the first time that we have heard just how this shooting impacted him personally. In the past, he's focused on how the students were recovering in the wake of the shooting. Yeah, so this morning we heard about his personal journey. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is reporting tonight and his wife's words revealed that emotional and mental toll the shooting had on Russell as well as his family. How do we help the kids? That's been the focus for Freeman School Superintendent Randy Russell for nearly five years. Since the shooting at Freeman High School, Russell kept a strong face. But in court today, through the words of his wife, Shauna, we learned just how traumatizing that September day was for Russell and his family. In a statement, Shauna told the judge on that tragic day, it looked like the life had drained out of Russell, but he was holding it together for staff, students, and the Freeman community. She tried to make sure Russell got rest, but over time, she said he struggled with panic attacks. There were times when he would drive halfway to work, turn around and come home. I would calm him down and do my best to keep him from having a full blown panic attack. This became a norm for a while. One day his panic attack was so bad I had to take him to urgent care because he thought he was having a heart attack. There was nothing I could do to get him to calm down. Seeing him breaking down has been one of the hardest things for me through all of this. She explained that Russell did not want his children to see him this way, so she did her best to shield them, but it became increasingly difficult as time went on. Over time, she says nightmares and sleepless nights set in. Shauna told the judge she hopes her family and the Freeman community can find closure when the shooter is finally sentenced. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.